But what they were trying to do was destroy the little ones, destroy our children, destroy our minds, because this happened a long time ago. So now our people are walking around, living in black neighborhoods, but they think their God is white. I don't know if you heard uh, Killer Mike on a thing was called Trigger Warning, but he was like, the black people are the only ones that have a God that don't look like them. Right. But if you read the Bible, black man and black woman, you'll see that the Messiah is a black man. That's right. But this is something I want for the little kids. This is because I know they need to be learning something too. All right. Because after you go on and everybody else, they still got to be here living the life that God ordained for them. So, hey, uh, what's her name? Aubrey. Hey, how you doing? You all right? You all right? Hey, Aubrey, come here for a second. Come here for a second. Which one of these is Jesus? Point at Jesus. You see, that, that's Jesus right here. You sure? Which one you say Jesus is? Which one you say Jesus is? Oh. Now, sis, we got some teaching to do. All right? So, let's find out what Jesus Christ looks like because a lot of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are out here right now believe that same thing. Right. Because they always say a picture, this is another proverb that goes against our people. They say a picture is worth what? A thousand words. So, what they do in our communities through, through multimedia, Facebook, Instagram, TV, they give our children and our families pictures. And they make us believe the storyline behind those pictures. Right. But little did we know in the Bible, we should actually have read what's in there to show us what Christ looks like. Right. So let's get, let's get uh, one, one and one. One and one. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. yeah. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. So right now at the Sweet Potato Festival, we're about to reveal what Jesus Christ looks like according to the Bible. Yes, right. you know, things which must shortly come to pass. Uh huh. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. We you know, who bear record of the word of God. So John is bearing record. He's writing down what was given to him to write down. That's why we can read it till this day. So let's find out what Jesus Christ actually looked like. Bring it out. Verse 14. Bring it out. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh -huh. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. All right, stop. Now we got to do process of elimination. Aubrey, which one of these pictures got white hair? Which one of them got white hair, Aubrey? You see, you got this picture right here and that picture right there. Which one of them got white hair? Huh? On this one, he said that one over there. That's correct. Which one got white hair? Yeah, that is correct. That's right. So, process of elimination. Even children can understand this Bible. Right. Read the next part. As white as snow. All right. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. All right. Next thing. Which one? What color? Is, uh, what, what color would you say fire is? Red. red. Now, which one of these two pictures has red eyes? Jeez. Oh man. See, the Bible is very simple. Read the next part. There, 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 there's some key factors that's going to teach our children who Jesus Christ is. Read on. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass. Oh, ain't nobody got their feet out, okay? But feet like unto fine brass. What color were brass? What's your name? Hezekiah. Hezekiah? Zakah. Zakah. Okay, all praises. What color is brass? Brown. Oh, man. So, Jesus Christ has the skin tone of brown, but now we're going to get into complexion. Read the next part. And his feet, like unto fine brass. All right, that's the, complex, uh, that's the skin tone, right? Read the next part. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they did what? Burned in a furnace. So, if you take something and burn it, what color does it turn? Black. So, what color is Jesus Christ? He has to be a what? A black man. Oh, so, so now, which one of these pictures shows you the better depiction of what Jesus Christ will actually look like? That's right. Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. Do not let anyone fool you any longer. The Bible shows you that the black Messiah comes and, and, uh, as if he burned in the furnace. That's what his skin tone, his complexion was like, as if he burned in the furnace. So where do we get this picture of this? 
pale face dude. Where did we get that from? Where did we get it from? Bring it up! It's because they kept putting this picture in front of you, putting it on TV, putting it in movies, making you believe that that was actually him. But see, that was against your nationality. That was against your heritage. What they were That's another way that they took it away from you. Are you getting that at first, Magnus? Because this is what happened. We're going to show you that. I'm going to show you two scriptures on that. Because what they were trying to do was destroy the little ones, destroy our children, destroy our minds. Because this happened a long time ago. So now our people are walking around, living in black neighborhoods, but they think their God is white. I don't know if you heard uh, Killer Mike on a thing was called Trigger Warning. But he was like, the black people are the only ones that have a God that don't look like them. Right. But if you read the Bible, black man and black woman, you'll see that the Messiah is a black man. Right. That's right. You'll see that his forefathers are black people. Right. That's but right. they, that, that's not their nationality. Their nationality is that they are the Israelites. That's right. 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 So that's what we are here to teach our people. Right. Who they are according to the Bible. Right. And that there is something required of us to do to keep God's laws. But let's see how this happened. Read. The book of 1st Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 48. Uh -huh. And laid open the book of the law. So the Bible is the book of the law. All right, read. Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So the other nations looked in our book and saw so much greatness that they said, you know what? We can no longer let Christ look like him. We got to paint over those images and make them look like us. Jeez. If uh, matter of fact, you ever heard of the Ninja Turtles? You ever heard of Ninja? Turtles? You you know their names? Not really. Not really. But there's something significant about Ninja Turtles: Leonardo da Vinci, right? Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo. All of these are painters right. throughout history during the Renaissance period, right? What their job was was to be iconoclast, meaning they were going to destroy images. So. They started off with him. They said, we don't want Christ to look like that anymore. We're going to make him look like this. Right. Actually, Leonardo da Vinci, if you look down here, one of, one of the names for the Ninja Turtles, these are actually his sketches when he was making the new Jesus Christ. Right. You understand that? Go to Job 9, 24. Read that. The book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Right. Yeah. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked because when it was given into the hand of the wicked we were serving in servitude we were slaves all right we have people ruling over us right read on he covereth the faces of the judges thereof so once we were taken from our god-given place to be slaves now he's already he read that part again read that part again he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Because if he allowed Jesus Christ to stay a black man, we will always rise back up to our place because we know who our Messiah is. Right. But once he changed the faces and made this Jesus Christ, now we kill each other. So now we deplete our own numbers. Now we hate our own people. We can't get ourselves together. We're defiling the Sabbath. They were doing everything outside of the, uh, the laws of God. So. That's a part of covering the faces of the judges. We lose who we are. We lose uh, 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 traces of who our forefathers are and what their mission used to be. Right. You understand that? So y'all got any questions real fast? Because I know y'all standing here attentive, but I want to know if y'all have any questions. No, no questions. All right, why are we gonna get uh, some more laws? Because these are the things that we are needing to do in our community. Right. All right, All right. so uh, go to 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians. Okay, because where are y'all from? Where are you from, bro? For Jersey? Okay, okay. So y'all have y'all seen this type of teaching going on in Jersey? That's my question. Have you seen it? Not, not, not like that. Like well, all praises. This is your day to learn it. Uh, Lord's will, you will come on this side of the sign and be a teacher to your people. Okay? I'll read that. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Bring it out! But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So this is how we will fix our black community, putting it back in order. Right. So the head of what? The head of every man is Christ. So with God, there is no 50-50. Over the man is Christ, read. And the head of the woman is the man. Uh-oh, this is where we go wrong in the black community. We say everything 50-50. But if we're doing it according to what God says, who's the head? The head of the woman is the man. So. You got to reverence your husband. You understand that? The head of the woman is the man. Read on. 
and the head of Christ is God. So even Christ and God are not equal. So you got God, Christ, man, then woman, then the children. Right. So everybody has that, that, that line of how to be taught and how to be taught correctly. All right. But read on. This, this goes into the law. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So something is going on about disrespect. So it says that the man that has his head covered while you're praying or prophesying will actually dishonor the person who's ahead of you. So as a man, when you have your head covered and the scriptures are coming out, you will actually be disrespecting who? Who's the head of the man? Brother? No, who's the head of the man? Say it again? I can't hear you. No, no, who's the head of the man? Christ. So when we have our head covered while we're reading the Bible or praying, we will be actually dishonoring Christ. Do you understand that? So the Bible says the law is not grievous. What, we, what are you supposed to do now that you know that? Now that you know having your head covered while you're praying and prophesying or while you're around the Bible being spoken of, what, what should you do? Right, right. And it's not hard to do. All you have to do is just take off the do-rag. You see what I'm saying? But these, as a people, I know this is your first time hearing that, but think about it like this. When you go into a courtroom, would you have that do-rag on? When you go into a church, would you have that do-rag on? Right, because you're trying to give reverence where it's due. But little did we know, as a people, that when we actually open this book, start reading it, and start praying to, that, to our God, that we're actually supposed to give that same reverence. That's where the other nations get it from. Right. That's why they're actually able to use our book against us. And then hold us in contempt if we don't. So these are the things that we got to come back to learning and doing. Not only should we observe it, but we got to start doing it. You understand that? So read the next part. Read the next part. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth. Every woman. With, read. With her head uncovered. Uncovered. Dishonoreth right. her head. So if you are out here listening to the Bible or praying, next time you pray, make sure you cover your head. Because a lot of our people don't know that. But when we went to the uh, Christian church, you always see Big Mama with the big old hat on, right? In church. Little did we know Big Mama had something right. Right? The only thing she had wrong was going to church on Sunday. You understand? So, brother, do you understand that? So when you are reading the Bible or praying, what should what should you do? You should show your head, not have your head covered. All right? So, any question? I, I see y'all trying to leave. I say, uh, y'all need to leave or? Okay. Y'all have any questions? And if you do, it's, uh, there's a number and a website on the back. On, that website is going to help you out learning the ordinances that God has for you. High Holy Day. Because Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, Halloween... 4th of July, that's not what the Israelites are supposed to be doing. Right. All you're doing is giving your money right back to the other nations who are going to keep you in slavery. Right. That's all you're doing. That's all I, a lot of our people are doing. Look, look, at, look, look, just look. You understand? So, Lord's will, y'all go in peace. Uh, there's a number in the website on the back. Learn your true nationality. Keep teaching these young ones who they are according to the Bible. Because this is the next generation. They're going to have to take care of you one day. But you want them to take care of you according to what God has for them. You understand that? So, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go back to Deuteronomy 28.15. Go back to Deuteronomy 28.15. 28, because we have to stay obedient to what God says. All these things that have happened to us today in our history and what will happen to us in our future may be contingent upon us keeping God's laws. So if our people are going to keep being rebellious, more and more bad things are going to happen. But we're out here to lift up our people and show them God's commandments so that they can get the kingdom. Right. You understand that? All right. Uh, let's get verse 32. Because we even saw this uh, uh, in recent history. Oh, she got a question? Yeah. Okay, how you doing, sister? How you doing? You got a question real fast? It's real quick. What color is Christ? Oh, what color is Christ? Oh, oh, well, hey, we're, we're asking some real, real, real quick. Okay, okay. My little brother, Zakai, which one of these pictures, according to the Bible, is real Christ? Mm, thank you. Simple answer, because he actually listened to what the Bible said. Let's get it for you so that you can hear what he heard. Go to Revelation. The book of Revelation.
chapter 1 and verse 14. Right. Oh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Jesus Christ had hair on his head and hair on his face that were white and woolly. Right? We don't. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Let's find out where Christ's eyes were red. Okay? Then we ain't talking about he shooting laser beams out of his eyes. No, he wasn't. You know, he, no, we ain't talking about Cyclops or X-Men or nothing like that. But let's find out according to the Bible because Jesus Christ is prophesied from Genesis to Revelation, right? So let's find out why because some people make up all kind of foolishness about why his eyes is red. Let's get that answer though. The Three. book, the book of Genesis. Quick, the book you of, asked the question. Go ahead, read. The book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 12. Okay. His eyes shall be red with wine. So why were his eyes red? Yeah, because of the wine. He drank wine in moderation, right? Okay. That was his first miracle, right? All right, let's get go back to Revelation 1 and 15. Uh, hey, it, it, we, uh, we, you're going to be able to hear us. Don't worry about that. This is how we know that Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. Read Revelation 1 and 15. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. So Jesus Christ had feet as unto fine brass. Right. Fine brass would be brown. Fine brass would be brown. So his skin tone was a brown color. Let's right. find out what his complexion was just like. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So you have a brown skin tone man whose complexion was as if it burned in a furnace. That shows you that Jesus Christ is a black man. Right. Right. So I don't know where you got this white man from. But it ain't come out of the Bible. Right. Right. So that's why we're out here to show our people who they are, what they should be doing, and what they should, who they should be serving. Woo. Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. That's right. So all our people need to understand one thing. My brother, you are not a black man. You are Israelite. That's you come right. from the same bloodline as Jesus Christ. That's you right. understand that? That's what we're out here to teach our people, who they are and what they should be doing. Right. Most people have confused this faith for their Lord and Savior. But what happens when you serve in this Lord and Savior is, you start to hate your own brother. That's right. You start to look at him sideways. You think that he's covered in everything that you have. So serving this man is a spiritual fight. You losing actually, because you don't know who your true God is. That's right. Breaking news tonight. There has been a staggering number of black and Latino A 12 year old black boy was shot and area. killed outside. A young black a woman was arrested for a traffic police. violation. A black was man found was shot and killed in the car. Just three days after the, the police took place, sir. The aftermath was aired live on Facebook. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up.
working so hard to serve God And why would I say that I'm a Jew with sound art? For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's our man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.